this beautiful white oak Main Street Acton tree was sacrificed for a sidewalk and it came into my possession. I had it moved to a friend's place where I could work on it. Sometimes you just take a challenge and this log is one of those things. 42 inches across, full nine feet long. I'm not sure I'm gonna use all nine feet. It comes out kind of totem-like. And uh, the last few I've done have been like that and I'm trying to get a little bit away from that. I may take a foot or so off the end. And ask. That bigger blade doesn't really, it's still slow going. Um, the wood is absolutely gorgeous. This has been down for, cut for three years. I've had it up on stilts for two years and keeping an eye on it. Some days you just don't quite get it. I only had time for one tank of gas and I ran two. I thought I'd be able to get this in one tank, but I still don't quite have it. For just time to come away. Score. I've kind of got a chart figuring out where this is really going to go. It's still kind of chaotic. Did some drawings and tried to come up with some ideas, but I always meander a little bit off of the beaten track. Making progress. Seems like every time I take a little bit more off, I realize how much more there is to take off. The pieces are getting smaller and more intricate. There's still so much more to do. Probably weighs about 800 pounds. Using jacks and pry bars, I was able to work in the field using gas chainsaws, but eventually when it was light enough, we moved it into the studio. It dried there for about a year, and then I've been working on it pretty steadily for the last seven, eight months.
So with the braces gone and everything taken away, I put some new supports under it. I kind of like it like this. I tried it vertically, and uh, it does have some majesty, but there's a totemicness about it that I really wanted to, to, to work against. So um, I've decided to lay it down, and, and you'll be able to see it in its horizontal position at Boston Sculptors Gallery in my show, 10,000 Labors.